This video is sponsored by Grammarly. So just now you told yourself that you'll study the whole day. But the entire day has passed and you've only managed to watch TikToks and YouTube. You're probably feeling horrible about yourself but I want to stop you right there because you're taking the initiative to watch this video and help yourself out. Be proud of yourself! In this video besties, we're going to discuss how to study when you don't feel like it. How to get up and study when you don't have any motivation. The last tip is an unusual motivation tip that I've not heard anyone talk about before so make sure you stay tuned for that. Let's go! Number 1. Pair tasks together. Let's just say you can't seem to stop watching YouTube. You're completely addicted. Don't stop watching it when you want to get productive. Let me explain. Every time we scroll on TikTok or watch a YouTube video, we get a rush of dopamine. It makes us feel good. So if we suddenly take all of those things away from us, those things that are making us happy, our dopamine levels will plummet. That could be the reason why everything just looks so uninteresting when you put your phone down. So instead of stopping everything that you're doing now, try to slowly introduce the thing that you need to do. In this case, we're trying to study. Watch the YouTube videos you're addicted to while doing notes. Then slowly transition and watch study videos or motivational content. After a while, move on to study with me videos. You might even find the YouTube videos distracting after a while and choose to stop altogether. This tip can be applied to anything. So for example, if you're addicted to TikTok but you really need to cook, try watching a recipe video on TikTok while cooking. The goal for us right now is to not completely abandon what you prefer to do or else you won't have the motivation to do what's important. I know I've said before that multitasking isn't good for productivity. And that's true. If we really want to be efficient, we can't do two tasks at the same time. However, the biggest hurdle for us right now is to start. And starting can be incredibly difficult to do when there are no steps in between what we want to do and what we need to do. So pair your tasks together. This should be the first study tip that you try after watching this video and if you're liking this video so far, be sure to subscribe and hit the like button. Next, break it down. Split your tasks up into smaller pieces. A lot of you ask me how to break one task up into smaller pieces so that it's more manageable. Now I'll show you a simple way to do that. I actually have an essay right now that I'm dreading to do so let's plan that out together. Draw a flow chart of the process you need to get through to finish your task. Here's what mine looks like right now. Start each step with an action word such as research, write or edit to make each task clear and specific. In the meantime, you can also assign dates to each step so you know when to complete each task. This can really help with procrastination. And I just dread doing essays because of the last step. Doing citations! If you're a university student and you dread citing your essays because it takes too long, you're going to love this. Grammarly now has an auto-citation tool that generates full and in-text citations as you're writing without all the copy and pasting. This was what my documents looked like last time when I was referencing and never again. There is also a plagiarism detector to make sure that you don't accidentally submit work that is similar to someone else's. Of course, you still want to check your grammar, spelling, and punctuations before submitting your essay so you don't lose marks unnecessarily. It's super easy to download Grammarly into your laptop and use it on all your favorite platforms. So to make studying and getting high marks for your exams easy, go to grammarly.com slash faefilms to sign up for a free account. And get 20% off Grammarly Premium if you're interested. Next, determine what you actually want to do now. In our previous tip, I did talk about how to break down one task into several steps so that it's less overwhelming. But what if you have many tasks? Some things will definitely be more important than others. But does that mean you need to do them first? No. When you have no motivation, it really helps to identify what you actually want to do in the present moment instead of what you feel like you should be doing. By acknowledging and then fulfilling your immediate desires, you might find it easier to transition into studying once everything else is done. Also, you don't really have an excuse not to start anymore. 
it's better to go out with your friends, go shopping, draw, and do all the things that you want to do instead of sitting here and wishing you were doing that instead. It'll give you a good mental health break too. Of course, stay accountable and disciplined with your studying. You're taking a break right now, not distracting yourself from your long-term goals. Next, change things up. If you usually study at your desk and you're feeling really stressed, go to your couch. After a while, if you're feeling frustrated, then go to your bed. It's natural for us to want to stick to our routine. If I can be productive here last week, why can't I be productive here now? So instead of blaming your chair and table for not working, let's change things up. Here are other underrated ways you can change up your routine to help you motivate yourself a little bit. You can change the font of your notes or the color of your notes. You can also change the time of day that you study, so from day to night or vice versa. You can also try different study methods. So if you're super used to taking your notes on your laptop and it's getting repetitive, try drawing and taking notes by hand instead. Now the last and most underrated tip. The advertisement might play in the next few seconds, so if you'd like to support this channel, please do not skip the ad. Thank you! Gamification Basically, turn whatever you're doing into a game. It's a fun way to increase your motivation and help you stay engaged with your work and also super effective at helping you accomplish your goals. Write down the tasks that you have on a piece of paper. Or if you have a huge task, you can follow study tip 2 and break it down into pieces. Then assign points to each task. For example, completing a chapter in your textbook could be worth 10 points. A difficult task like watching a one-hour lecture could be worth 30 points. Then you're going to determine what are your rewards. Assign points to those two. The more valuable the reward is to you, the higher the points awarded. Now, here's how you're going to play your game. You're going to complete as many tasks as you can until you accumulate enough points to claim your reward. You can also do this with your friends. I think it'll be fun to work together towards a shared goal. For example, if the both of you don't complete enough tasks and earn those points, you can't go out and do your nails. You should also track your progress so you stay motivated. And that is exactly why I have prepared a template for you so you can print out and keep beside you. To get the free template, like this video, subscribe to my channel, follow my Instagram. Then message me a screenshot of your subscription over on my Instagram. If you've made it this far, comment down below has your motivation to study been high or low recently. Like this video, subscribe and turn on the notification bell and set it to all so you don't miss out on any future uploads. Thank you for 910,000 subscribers and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye bye!